Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivangsh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate that. Anybody who wants to have a consultation from me or wants to uh, get some heads up about your placements, natal chart study and all, you're most welcome to reach out to me. That's the download I got for the first time. Like, speak it out. I generally don't do that. I truly forget, you know. It's like this. But Father is saying that some of you are either experiencing or is about to experience. And this is a very sacrificial kind of an energy. That's what I'm feeling, all right? Like, kind of, you are losing out something that was very dear to you, all right? I'm feeling like that okay and you need some kind of a guidance there and that's the reason probably this uh, came out because look i took out the deck and these are the cards all right i wanted to show you before i start shuffling this is sacrifice this is healing all right two uh, very opposite energies so uh, in order to get all the clarity sunlight energy in your life and to come out of this dark energy of sacrifice loss and all um, then you are asked by the universe to all right. all right father is saying that some of you really need to know uh, some techniques about meditation some techniques about prayers like what kind of prayers you need to do uh, for a particular uh, thing all right like for example some of you uh, are saying this that you know I'm doing meditation I am doing prayers I'm doing everything possible then what is it that it's not going the way I want it first of all uh, you know release any kind of expectations uh, that means you are if you have this energy also then father is asking that that means even if you are praying praying with an agenda right come out of that all right you should not be praying to father in that bagging energy yeah father is saying that don't be in that bagging energy please father please heavenly mother please please god please can you please come out of that energy that's what father is saying because father is not at all going to listen to this bagging kind of energy father is asking you to be that deserving all right because at the end if you have this uh, thought going on I have I am the one who is at the losing end I'm losing there is loss death this dispute there is uh, conflict um, nothing is going fine in your life come out of that complaining energy come out of that bagging energy and look into yourself of what are you exactly doing to be a deserving one a deserving one in the eyes of the divine is the one who goes through the endurance all right that means despite all odds adverse situations challenges in life they don't turn back they don't give up they don't have that attitude all right like i'm doing this much i'm doing that much i'm meditating i am doing this i'm praying i'm trying to live my holistic life following through the divinations and all come out of that energy that's what father is saying all right that means you are wasting your time in a wrong place with the wrong intention set up or some kind of an attachment with it all right like that kind of a bagging and complaining energy that's why you are experiencing this emotions of uh, of a particular situation so much somebody needed to hear that i need whoever needed to really hear that you really need a counseling that's what father is saying and that's the reason probably it came out of my mouth otherwise i really don't say you know if you get the calling you'll always reach whoever you like and you will get it done all right that's a something kind of a nudge that you cannot ignore all right that's what father is saying so listen to your gut feeling listen to your intuition and inner calling and 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 pay attention to um let's say for example if you have a you look I shuffle, shuffle, I stopped again on sun energy. Are you getting me? If you listen to this video today, probably from tomorrow or right after this video, you will start to feel some kind of a change in your energy because you will get a epiphany, sudden realization or an understanding that you have been looking for a long time. That's what father is saying. And that's how I'm getting the messages today. That's amazing. Very strong messages. Very strong messages. All right. 
somebody is feeling okay this card jumped out of the deck uh, somebody is feeling that you you in some way is adding value is adding value that's how i'm feeling i don't know how this is connecting to you either you are a value you are a valued employee your boss is feeling like that or you are somebody is feeling that kind of you are that property they value you uh, you know i am feeling that some of you are becoming an asset for somebody okay father father is saying how did you jump from what i was giving you <laughs> so sorry i'm so sorry where we were father yeah so father is saying, i'll come back to that huh? <laughs> so father is saying that uh you um okay father is saying that let's say for example you uh you feel that you are praying you are doing your best all right but understand if this is a complaining energy or bagging energy check your energy and that can be done only when you sit in meditation and you contemplate the karmas that you put the thoughts that comes with this particular situation wherever you are or a thought comes with a particular person that where you are stuck with or or a job situation that you are in or a financial situation that you are in you know um, what kind of an effort you are putting in all right like sitting in a corner and crying father i don't have money i don't have finances you know i'm going through financial issues all right you're crying but check your energy you know if you are stuck in that energy what are you exactly doing you know to put in the karma all right like for example i have to shoot in youtube i have to post videos in youtube so that people know me more and people that's how people can come i can get clients and that's how because my youtube is not monetized right i have to make my bread and butter and through clients only i can but if i don't come in youtube at all i don't shoot at all how people will know and and i'm sitting in a corner and crying oh father please give me money father please do something about my finance and i'm doing actually nothing i don't want to work uh, you know in any company or office and I'm just praying but I'm not even ready, getting ready to come in front of the camera so people can see me they need my guidance so I you know people can reach out to me are you getting me only praying will not do karma needs to be put in also to balance that energy out all right but I'm sitting in a corner and I'm complaining oh you're doing nothing for me father I'm putting so much of an effort that effort needs to be seen by the divine you don't have to show it to the divine all right divine will see you cannot fool up there all right your father in heaven you can just fool yourself only with this thought that i'm doing enough so you start accepting that probably i am lacking somewhere i have not understood something and i need to understand this then only the energy will change all right then you put that effort put that karma the karma will be seen and within few uh, days or couple of months things will fall in place for some of you I'm feeling like your life is stuck for almost kind of yeah for some I'm feeling like for the last 18 19 years or 10 11 years for a long period of time experiencing something very very crazy all right very very crazy and and this is these are the prayer techniques like kind of you have to learn to pray how to pray also you know and accordingly check your karmas also how you are putting in your karmas whether you are putting in your karmas truly you know that god can say yes this child of mine has really endured enough put in the efforts enough and i need to look up to this child of mine are you getting me you are not begging god to come and help you you are trying to help yourself and god is now coming to help you there are two different things all right god helps them who help themselves so ask yourself, are you trying to help yourself so that once you put in the effort, God comes and uh, help you through, through the journey, through the challenges, through the adverse situation that you are in. All right. So let's say, for example, uh, you are trying to understand, uh, you know, uh, you are trying to learn uh, like kind of you feel that you surrender. All right you have let go and you have given it out to the universe all right like father knows what is best for me and i will do me and father knows the best all right um if you feel like that that i have given out but you you just feel it like this or you think it like this but in the truth 
of the matter it is more like this you are saying father uh, i know you know that you want the best for me i know you will do the best for me i give everything unto you but uh, I know father you you know everything is under you in your control everything is in, under your wings and I know you are taking care of it but I really love this man I want this man you know in my life I have given my energy I have given my emotions my love my everything to this person but why I mean I mean father I know it is in your control please do something for me so that I get uh, you know get married to this man or get married to this girl this is not a surrendering energy you don't have to tell God you know that uh, God need to fix this man with you all right are you getting me maybe for God in the eyes of God it not it, this person may not be good and you are asking for something wrong all right and that's what God is trying to teach you that you are asking the wrong thing from me my dear no matter how much you buy it but if I can see that your life is going to be um, crazy after some time, so don't ask anything that is not good for you. So your prayer should be, Father, surrendering energy is always like this. Like Father uh, in heaven, Mother in heaven, whoever you follow, all right, knowingly or unknowingly, if I have done anything wrong, Father, hear me out very clearly, all right, somebody really needs to understand this what kind of a prayer is a surrendering prayer so that you have that heads up and understanding so your prayer should be like this uh, father uh, or heavenly mother whoever you follow knowingly or unknowingly in this lifetime or in any lifetime if i have done anything wrong please forgive me all right please forgive me for any wrong that i have done in your eyes knowingly or unknowingly please forgive me all right and I know father you are my father and you will do the best for me I give every ounce of mine to you my uh, I don't have any free will your will is my will so I know you always have the best plan the master plan for me and I completely dedicate devote myself to you and I know you will always do the best done your prayer is done you're not attaching an, a, a note with that prayer, all right? This is also good, Father, if you give me this. I know everything is in your control. I will be very happy if you give me this. Probably that give me this is going to be a big turn of events, you know, that will turn your life 360 degree, all right? That's what I'm trying to tell you, that you need to understand uh, this energy of surrendering, the prayers that you need to do how how is you need to do the surrendering prayer how you need to uh, and you need to understand how it is to let go of energy and how you are asking let go let god all right so that's what i'm trying to teach you because father is asking me to let you know this is very important for some of you to know all right i'm not saying that you are wrong you're absolutely wrong good at heart kind at heart very graceful very generous very humble very kind very charitable heart all right <clears throat> but at the end of the day you know there is something about your prayer that does not reach God is because at the end of the day you attach some kind of a tag with your prayers or you attach some kind of complaints all right I'm doing so much why I'm not getting this so how do you calculate you are doing so much is my question to you all right how how you rate yourself that you are doing so much maybe in the eyes of the divine this is actually not there might be 10,000 different kind of people with much more uh, bigger issues of you than yours and they are actually putting in that effort so God wants to see that effort that you are putting in all right not that bagging or complaining energy of whatever you are going through as if like God is uh, punishing you and judging you in a way like kind of as if God is you know you're seeing God's role as a villain in your eyes uh, that's what I'm feeling because sun card coming twice is also telling me that some of you have that stubborn and ego energy and arrogant energy as well that's why and in the beginning I saw this card uh, you know as a sacrifice right now it's sun again so if you let go and let God leave any control issues 
and um, you know hone into your own spiritual energy of who you are in your true authentic self all right and understanding completely yes divine is there and divine will is ha is having a master plan for you you learn to create your own healthy boundaries accordingly with your emotions with your wishes dreams desire and you believe completely that yes god is there he is up there looking up to your life and he has some master plan for you and you are just uh, clearing the path for god to come in all right your free will needs to be aligned with god's will that's when a prayer is heard by the universe all right trust me there is nothing called free will at the end it's it's already always god's will all right but to understand how free will works all right first of all you will have to understand what god's will is why you incarnated at the first place why god put you as a human on mother earth and what for and once you understand that completely surrender yourself your your ahamkars your um, you know your sanskars are becoming like god that means the characteristics of god is getting embedded on you you are honing that energy of divinity in you divine in you and you let go of ego arrogance attitude be humble be kind be generous and keep giving keep creating your healthy boundaries and and just do your karma all right without any kind of um, you know um, how you call this uh, do your karma without any kind of expectations attached to it all right just be that karma yogi everything will fall in place trust me on that all right so if you feel that you are the one who is sacrificing a lot and you are the one who is suffering the most on earth then this is the biggest myth or an illusion that you can have because you truly don't know what somebody else is going through all right so you have to also understand from where everything is coming why certain things are happening with you and how to accept it i'm feeling some of you have that energy of non acceptance if somebody points you out where your fault lies what uh, you know where where what is wrong going on with you you don't like to accept that you don't like feedback coming from people all right so it's there is a saying in spirituality that uh, listen to all all right listen to all whatever who is saying listen all right but do what your heart says do what your inner gut your inner intuition says are you getting me it's good to listen everybody but at the end you should do what your heart and mind says your your consciousness says your experiences says are you getting me that will be uh, an energy where you will be able to see yourself as yeah it's making sense to me now i'm doing fine and you will come out of any kind of attachment and you will feel harmonious and content with it all right this card came out of the deck so let me read it out love knows no boundaries unconditional love comes from the heart and soul space or else it is not love do at least one good deed every day engage yourself in household work yeah that means some of you are not associated with any kind of house household work you don't engage yourself too much all right probably you are a group of people thinking about your loss or your sacrifices you know or the uh, experiences that you are going through you probably have closed off yourself you don't engage yourself so universe is asking you to engage yourself in household work so that you you learn some new skills you keep up to date with your body your exercises are on you know you should continue to do work in such a way that you are engaged you are keeping yourself busy not sitting idle in a corner thinking about what is gone out of your life and putting all your efforts what you have actually lost all right but the truth is that's the biggest illusion that you actually lose nothing because when you came on earth you did not bring anything with you so how can you say that you have lost something ask yourself this question all right somebody really needs to hear this if you are complaining to the universe you lost this you lost that universe is asking you this question yeah, father is asking me to let you uh, ask you this question how can you say that you have lost when you have actually not got anything all right and then you did not bring anything with you you came alone you will go alone 
all right so how come you have lost are you getting me what i'm saying so you have actually lost nothing all right and when you talk about love and that love is unconditional love that has to come from heart and soul space all right otherwise it is not love that means if it is about a true love you love somebody and you lost this person you will never be in that energy of complaining because if it is truly unconditional love love will always survive true love will always survive trust me on that so if you have that complaint or oh, uh, you know um, i loved i love from heart and soul mind space everything but i lost i lost and i lost then trust me <laughs> you are manifesting that you, actually you know but if you shift your energy from there to this energy that what is good for me it will follow me i have to vibrate in this energy of unconditional love it will it will have to come from a heart and mind space and soul space in such a way that i don't have any ego or arrogance or attitude or any kind of bitter emotions associated with this connection i have to let go and let god then only you will know that love knows no boundaries you will your love will be in that high frequency that it will force divine to do something for you in this connection so ask yourself are you truly showing that kind of a dedication also in a connection or in a job or uh, at any uh, given situation that you are in where you are feeling stuck or sacrificial or loss or death you know there are certain things in in our life that is beyond our control all right so we should stop having any kind of control issues that's what father is saying i am seeing a lot of control issues in your uh, in your life be it from the outside world or be it your own thought or be it your uh, assumptions i feel some of you are having a lot of uh, look at this card i shuffled and this card again came together all right there are a lot of truths that needs to come to you so that you understand what is the reason you are stuck in uh, in a particular situation for what reason and all and what you need to do all right um, and if you have been asking about finances and all this will also fall in place all right you need to have that energy of actually how to pray how to surrender how to let go and how to let god how to merge in your free will with god's will all right you have to be a person with full faith full belief full dedication full god conviction and full determination all right then only you will force god to do something for you that is uh, something that you truly want all right so um know this my dear that unconditional love has no boundary actually all right it is uh, infinite so no matter how much you fight at the end no look at that all fiery energy you are getting all fiery energy you know look all fiery energy you may be dealing uh, you may be a strong person with aries uh, in your natal chart sagittarius or leo that's how i'm feeling or you are dealing or you have energies around you who are like kind of martian energies um, you know uh, or scorpionic energies all right that's how i'm feeling that you get triggered that you fight 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 you don't get anything in return then you lose your passion then you you know you do everything to come back there's no doubt about it but at the end of the day you feel that there is something lacking and that's when i come in to let you know that these are the dynamics where you are lacking you are not completely surrendering you have that energy of uh, begging you are in that energy of complaining all right that's the reason or you have that attitude anger ego all right and you fight not just with yourself with everybody around you are argumentative at times hence everything goes for a toss all right or else somebody shows their dictatorship on you all right try to command your life try to rule your life are you getting me so you have to come in that energy of understanding what is what all right and what you should be doing at the end and accordingly put in the karma if you want that sun like energy to enter your life and heal your life heal your job situation financial situation uh, relationship dynamic family dynamic or you have any issues going on all right 
you will be able to take care of. Try to do some good deeds, you know. That's how you will be able to change into a compassionate being. All right. I feel you are very passionate, no doubt about it. Very energetic, very enthusiastic, no doubt about it. It is just one little trigger and you, your life is like this. All right. And then you go agitated in anger and you shout at God like, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm not getting anything, you know. These are the energies that talks about like that because you become immature, then you fight. All right. And God is asking you to come in this energy and this energy. Balance yourself. All right. Are you getting me what I'm saying? Very important. Okay. So try to do good deeds. Try to vibrate in that energy of unconditional love. Try to merge in God's will with your free will. All right. See things from 10 different dimensions and directions and understand what will be good for you and accordingly engage yourself on those kind of karmas. All right. Be it household, uh, you know, uh, accompanying your parents, uh, you know, doing something in the kitchen, cleaning your house, washing the clothes, cleaning um, any mess or, you know, be proactive. Yeah. Be proactive uh, at your workplace. You know, don't be too rigid with yourself or closed off with yourself with just this thought or past experiences, whatever you have gone through. All right. Because nothing is permanent, my dear. You will lose this body also at the end. So are you not, you're not going to take anything with you. Trust me on this. All right. You're really not going to take anything with you. So what's the human cry about? Oh, I lost this. I sacrificed so much. I gave so much. You know, I'm not getting any, anything in return. God is more interested to see. I understand my child. You are losing this. God knows what you are losing in your life. All right. But at the end, despite all odds, how you are trying to work with your life, that's God is more interested to watch, all right? That I'm giving this pain, this tower experience to this child of mine. Let me see how she is going to navigate through this experience or how she is going to fight back, bounce back and come back, all right? So fighting is good, but you have to understand how you are fighting, where you are fighting, and what will you are fighting and what will be the consequence out of it all right be it with yourself family members a job at work whatever it is however you are dealing with your life all right but you have to understand your energy from that perspective of you as a soul incarnated here for something big something good and you believe that god is there to look after you to hear your prayers answer your prayers and you have to put in those karmas and actions and change this complaining or bagging energy or uh, that all in tears kind of energies or anger or bitter kind of energies you know why me or why this is happening and go agitated just come out of it god wants to see that how you transmute that energy and become a wonderful human being have a heart of charity donation uh, goodwill good um, you know I, I feel I'm feeling like that some of you curse or some of you uh, you know speak out something that you should not out of anger you speak certain words that comes back to you multiplied so God is asking you to take charge of your tongue as well your thoughts also like you don't even realize what you are saying at the end all right and this is very fiery energy this reading today is very very fiery energy for whoever it is connected to all right please 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 my dear soul tribe to whatever i say pay attention because this will create if you try if you are able to transmute this energy that will help you to create a firm foundation for yourself all right that will only help you to create a firm foundation for yourself otherwise your foundation is shaking all right at times you are good at your energy feeling good 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 motivated highly inspired and all and the very next moment you are like why this has to happen it happens with me all the time god you are so cruel so uh, um you know uh, and you know why you are are you getting me what i'm trying to say i know you understand to what i'm saying so Please learn to calm in the surrendering energy. All right. God is not your enemy. All right. Don't try to show or portray in your thought process that God is somewhat kind of a villain in your life. All right. Some of you really do it. I know who are they. 
I know they are even here listening to this message and you know to whom I'm speaking. I'm a psychic medium. I hear you sitting here. Don't do that. Alright. Somebody really needed to hear this message. I hope I was able to connect with all those who needed to hear this message. Don't try to challenge God. Don't. Alright. So whenever any guru comes to you and tells you what you should be doing and what not, follow their guidelines. Alright. So we coming and speaking out is actually no joke. This is divinely orchestrated and guided and protected. Alright. God will also bring you to the right message that you need to hear. Otherwise God will also not let you waste your 30 minutes on this nonsense video. So whoever stay till now, you know who you are and why you are listening to this message. Until we meet again, I am sending across much love and light to you all. Om Namah Shivaya. Stay blessed and in peace. Bye-bye.